Hey Puppy Trades, wanted to do a video update on two stocks in one of the hottest sectors right now, which is the outdoor sector. Okay, so I wasn't too familiar with the outdoor sector prior to 2020, but I am familiar with the bull flag pattern. And I believe that Camping World and Yeti are both completing ABC corrections within the bull flag pattern. Okay, so what is an ABC correction? Well, simply put, I don't really focus too much on the other type of waves, which are one, two, three, four, five impulse waves. Okay, you know it's an impulse wave when you explode to a new high. Okay, so it makes no sense for me to you know spend my lifetime counting what you know is this a is this a base is this a three you know four or five because I don't need that. It's an impulse wave. Okay, it's clearly an impulse wave. It explodes higher past the previous high, right? With a massive volume surge. Okay? So this is the impulse wave. Right? In my last video, I made the fatal mistake of trying to count spy the impulse and it was pointed out, which I do believe is correct that it should be one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then that would be the wave one, and then we still have the ABC. So the point is, it doesn't really matter how you count the impulse, right? You know it's an impulse when it explodes to the new high, right? That's why I'm not counting the, you know, I'm not going to waste my time trying to count QQQ. Like, is this a one? Is this a three? Is this a four? Is this a five? You know, this wave three in here, is it the ABC. This is a massive impulse, okay? And a clear correction. Okay, so like, let's get back to Camping World. We don't count the impulse waves, or I don't count the impulse waves. You can do whatever you want. But back to Camping World and Yeti. We have an ABC correction. And we know that an ABC correction is complete when wave A is the same length as wave C. Now, wave C can be slightly longer than wave A. But in general, if you really want to get in a stock, once wave C is the length of wave A, you know, that's a, a good time for me to consider the correction complete, start looking at the, the next wave higher, right? So we have an ABC correction with declining volume. But the cool thing about my trading style, even if you don't agree with the wave theory, which I could completely care less, it's a bull flag, right? It's a strong move higher that takes about three months, right? It goes three months on a ripping run higher. Then it consolidates into a tight range. Now, we haven't filled out the top of this, you know, range right here. I'm using a little bit of intuition to say that when you connect the, this high with this high, you're going to form a trend line that will be reached in the future, right? So I acknowledge that this trend line only has two reactions. I do believe it's going to be reached in the future. I'm just putting it out here in advance. Plenty of reactions on this bottom trend line, tight range, declining volume. You know, I'm a broken record. Declining volume confirms bullish consolidation. And then what I'm we're seeing across the market is finally these spikes in volume, right? Now, intuition tells you big red volume spike is scary. No. Big red volume spike is exhaustion, right? Look, we have declining volume confirming that this is a consolidation period. And then you know that the consolidation period is ending once you start getting these volume spikes. Now, typically the way it goes, you have a volume spike that's red after a declining volume, which is the end of consolidation, right? You have the selling climax and then you have the buyer spike. We haven't had our buyer spike yet, but we have seen some climactic selling. 
So I do believe that this correction in camping world, ABC, is close to being complete. Ideally, I buy it around 23, but I'm willing to get into camping world right now. When I saw camping world at 25, I'm ready to get into camping world right now. And I'd say with a stop below 20, just heading into next week, I'd be willing to get into camping world now. And I'm looking to enter camping world on any type of dip. Okay. So I'm looking probably for a dip to 23 would be the ideal spot to go long camping world. But I would go long camping world right now with a stop below 20 right here, right? This low of 20 will be exact. 20.57 would be the stop loss. I'm willing to buy camping world right here, but ideally I get a dip to 23 this week and I really go long camping world, right? So this move takes three months. Obviously no one can tell the future, but once this low is put in, right? Like let's say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you know, a low is put in right here. Whenever this low is put in, the price target is the length of this move. We're being a little conservative because really we could go all the way down here. But we're taking the length of this move and we're placing it here. Okay? So once this low is put in, the target for Camping World is 58. Right? So this could be a very powerful move. Okay? So I'm expecting a move to 58 in Camping World. I'm going to be buying any dip that I get this week with a stop below 20. All right, declining volume, bull flag, selling climax, wave A, now getting the length of wave C, heading to 58, three months from when this low is put in. Let's say hypothetically, this low is put in before the election. The target would be for Camping World Let's just say the target for Camping World is that it will hit 58 around mid-January. Mid-January, I'm expecting Camping World to hit 58, assuming a low is put in this week. All right? And remember, the stop loss is 20.57. Okay? Now, on to Yeti. Very similar setup, same sector. The, the wave count, you know, I don't like to do the wave counts because they're, they are subjective. You know, you can talk all day about it, right? Well, you know what's not subjective? Declining volume. The fact that this stock went on a massive run and has consolidated sideways with declining volume confirming bullish consolidation. Another thing that's not subjective is this pitchfork right here. No, you know, creativity on this pitchfork. You connect the low with the high and the low. Clear reaction. Clear reaction. Okay, I'm, I know I'm about to mess up the letters. But I'm going to do it anyway. All right, ignore that. We'll get rid of the ABC. Because, like I tried to say in my last video, I'm not trading the individual letters, right? I'm not one of those people who spends hours like, what is this? This is the bull flag, right? You could throw all this away. You could throw all the wave counts, all of that away, and it's a bull flag. More importantly, to me, it's also an Andrews pitchfork. Clear reaction on Yeti right here. Clear reaction on Yeti right here. Clear reaction, clear reaction, clear reaction. Look, look at all those. Beautiful reactions, right? This is clearly a valid pitchfork. And when you have a valid pitchfork with reactions on the median, reactions on the lower bound, statistically, even when you get away from the pitchfork, and we have plenty of documented examples of this that I can show, and I'll show one at the end of this video about how the, the pitchfork, you can get away from it and still expect to go back to the median. But bottom line, Yeti, I'm going to say that this high right here, this high and this low are going to be the invalidation level. So this high is 47 this low is 47, so the invalid, well, not necessarily the invalidation, the stop loss level for Yeti is 47. All right, the invalidation level for Yeti is all the way down at 43. That's too wide of a stop loss, right? So the invalidation level for Yeti is 43. The stop loss for Yeti 
is 47. Okay, goes on a clear run higher, forms a pitchfork with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve reactions. Okay, so the projection that as long as Yeti is above 43 with a little tighter stop below 47, then Yeti is expected to head back to the bottom line of this pitchfork and then go all the way to the median. Okay, the equal legs target, this move takes a little less than three months. So the target is going to be three months from the end of September if Yeti holds above 43. Okay, so I am expecting Yeti and Camping World to reach their equal legs targets around mid-January, early January, okay? So both of the time targets for Yeti and Camping World, we're going to say mid-January, January 15th targets for Camping World and Yeti to reach their equal legs target. For Camping World, it's 58 with a stop below 20. For Yeti, the invalidation level is 43. The stop loss level is 47. And the equal legs target is that it will reach the median of this pitchfork and hit 73 in mid-January or by mid-January. Okay? Now, one last thing I want to do, talk a little bit about this pitchfork right here on Roku, because Roku is a really good level for, or a really good example of why we use pitchforks. You know, is it voodoo? No, it's statistics. For every reaction, there's an equal and opposite reaction, right? So when you get these really clean reactions on these pitchforks, you know the median is going to be reached in the future, right? And now once Roku, of course, got below, got above the median and had to correct, we'll see, you know, will this median hold? What could happen for Roku, and this is just for Roku, I'm going off script right now. Roku could be a really, really good buy if it ever fell to the lower bound of this pitchfork. If that ever happened, that would be a generational buy right here. But this is just to show pitchforks are reliable. We'll go on the smaller time frame. Um, I had this pitchfork in a prior post. You just connect the low with the high. Boom. Reaction, tag. As soon as it gets away, reaction, reaction. Now, tag. Heading back for the median again in the future. Okay? Every time the Roku gets away from this pitchfork, it goes back to it. Okay, what it might be time to do is get a closer pitchfork for Roku. And this is just for Roku. Um, just to see, like, what, what do these pitchforks do? You know, look how reliable this was. Connect the high with the low. You use, you know, your wave theory with the pitchforks, right? If you believe a corrective wave is done, you correct. You connect the top of the correction with the bottom of the correction. And once you get these reactions on the lower bound of the pitchfork, you know, boom, you're heading to the median 